Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua the Mashiach's name. Amen. Before we start, we'll read the Shema. Children of Yahweh, pay careful attention and respond. Yahweh is our power and authority. Yahweh works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahweh, your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Amen. Proverbs 9. Wisdom has built herself a house. She has carved her seven pillars. She has prepared her food, spiced her wine, and she has set her table. She has sent out her young girls with invitations. She calls from the heights of the city. Whoever is unsure of himself, turn in here. To someone weak-willed, she says, Come and eat my food. Drink the wine I have mixed. Don't stay unsure of yourself, but live. Walk in the way of understanding. He who corrects a scoffer only gets insulted. Reproving a wicked man becomes his blemish. If you repro reprove a scoffer, he will hate you. If you reprove a wise man, he will love you. Give to a wise man and he grows still wiser. Teach a righteous man and he will learn still more. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. And knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For with me, your days will be increased. Years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom helps you. But if you scoff, you bear the consequences alone. The foolish woman is coarse. She doesn't think. She doesn't know a thing. She sits at the door of her house or on the seat of the heights of the city, calling to those who pass by, to those going straight along their ways. Whoever is unsure of himself, turn in here. To someone weak-willed, she says, stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is pleasant. But he doesn't realize that the dead are there and that those who accept her invitation are in the depths of Sheol. Wow. So today I taught a group of men, what is the beginning of wisdom? And they answered, the fear of the Lord. And I asked, what is the fear of the Lord? They didn't know. They tried to answer but they didn't know exactly what the fear of the Lord is. And whenever they did answer, one answered, and I asked the others, did that really answer it? And they said no. And I asked the one who did answer, does that really answer it? And he said no. So I want to give you the example that I gave them. I'm not going to give you the answer. You're just going to have to keep thinking about it. And one day, I will give the answer. Hopefully, you will have found the answer on your own. Because wisdom should be sought out. The fear of the Lord is something to be found like a hidden treasure. So the example goes like this. I'm driving, the speed limit is 65, and I'm going 85. I'm going, I'm breaking the law, and then in my sight, the cop appears. And I immediately start obeying the law, and I start doing the speed limit. Why did I do that? That is a big question. The answer, lots, lots of answers that these guys gave, so there's probably a lot of answers that people give. Think about why that transpired. I was breaking the law. I knew that I was breaking the law, and then something Something was brought to my attention. What was that something? And then what are the events that take place? Think about that. That is the building blocks to understanding the fear of the Lord without really exactly telling you what it is. And if you do want to know exactly what it is, let me know, and I will keep that story going and you really do know what it is, 
but I can't really just spoon feed it because if I spoon feed it to you, you'll just remember it. And, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the fear of the Lord. But if you come to the answer on your own and it's, it's brought out of you, then I think you can apply that answer much better than if I just were to say it. So we'll say the story again. I'm driving in my car. The speed limit's 65. I'm going 85. I know that I'm breaking the law, but I still do it anyway. I'm breaking the law, just going about my day, and then something appears in my view. It's the police. I immediately go back to obeying the law, go 65 miles an hour. Why did I do that? Think about that get frustrated about it. If you want wisdom, you'll want to know that answer. I don't know who doesn't want wisdom. It's awesome. We'll end with the Arianic blessing. Yahweh will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with the hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Mm, amen. Who wants to be whole and complete? Who wants love, sustenance, and friendship? I know I do.